I appreciate you uh, for watching uh, me, Dale S. Jr., uh, Reunion Speech 2, uh, Thanksgiving Day. Uh, just want to say God bless you to you and your family. You have been waiting your whole life for this moment. You're on a different level now. Your whole life is about to change. It's divine timing. I know some of us have been on the road going fast in the wrong direction, but trust and believe that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. It took Formula 409, the cleaning product producers, 409 times to get it right. You can do it too. In order to be successful, you have to be successful, look successful, live successful, hang with successful people. You should be excited. I have traveled with billionaires. I have reached a level of success I never imagined. Traveled around the world, seen the good and the bad, had ups and downs, but now I'm here delivering this speech to bless the world. Dale S. Jr. Reunion Speech 2 Thanksgiving Day Everyone light your light and let it shine bright Psalms 119 105 Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path The word of God is our direction in this current time that we are living in Matthew 5 16 let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven how can we let our light shine one way we let our light shine is through giving giving is important in the life of the believer we should not be hoarders hoarders of things hoarders of knowledge hoarders of love Luke 6 give and it shall be given unto you good measure press down and shaking together and running over shall men give into your bosom for with the same measure that ye met with all it shall be measured to you again in this world it is seed time then harvest time some of us work all week at our job and receive a paycheck for our labor some of us are benefiting off the seeds our parents sold let us support one another what you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. Galatians 6, 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. What we do for others are the seeds we are sowing that will produce a harvest in our own lives. All the good things we do for others are seeds we are planting that will eventually spring up in our own lives. Let us, as a family, a city, a state, a country, and a nation, unite. Let us be unified. Psalms 133.1 Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Two, it is like the precious ornament upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirt of his garment. Three, as the dew of Hormon, and as the dew that descends upon the mountain of Zion, for there the Lord command the blessing, even life forevermore. As we can see where there is unity, God has commanded blessing, and where there are blessings, we find the presence of God. Amen, the presence of the Lord. What happens when you are in the presence of the Lord? Peter says in 1 Peter 5, 7, Cast all your cares upon him, for he care for you. So you can cast all your cares on the Lord. Cares of corona, cares of past due bills, cares of a broken heart, because God cares about what happened to you. I'm here to tell you, God has already made a way for us, even when we see no way. The president or the president-elect count them done to the power of God. God is our source. Now let me get to the good part. In the presence of God is fullness of joy. Psalm 16, 11, Thou will show 
me the path of light in thy presence is fullness of joy at thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore let me bring this all together in psalms 119 105 the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path Matthew 5, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So if we walk with God, meaning we obey his words and his commandments, he will lead us and guide us, guide us to make the right decisions in our life. And if we do that, we can live our life in his presence where there is fullness of joy. Wherever you are, you should be rejoicing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our praises to the Most High. Glory to the Lamb of God. We worry about the President. We worry about COVID-19. And we got Psalms 19. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament shows His handiwork. Day unto day utter speech, and night unto night show knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. The line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. And them hath he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chambers, and rejoiceth as a strong man to run a race. His going forth is from the end of the earth and his circuit unto the ends of it, and there is none hid from the heat thereof. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgment of the Lord and the true and righteousness, righteous all together, more to be desired are they than gold. Yeah. Then much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and keeping of them there is great reward. Who can understand his error? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sin. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright, and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Let thy words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Amen, amen. Now, regarding food shortage, in May 2020 studies show that 44% of Americans fear they will not be able to afford food. The head of the World Food Program says to UN warns world leaders that next year is going to be the worst, worse than this year. And without billions of dollars, we are going to have a famine of biblical proportion in 2021. Because the news is being dominated by the COVID-19 pandemic and the U.S. elections, nobody is focused on the travesty that we are facing around the world. Due to this pandemic, the world leaders have been able, in my opinion, to prop up economies by stimulus packages, deferral of debt programs, and misinformation. At this current time, COVID-19 is surging again. Economies are continuing to deteriorate, particularly in low and middle income countries. And there is another wave of lockdown and shutdown. A survey that Feeding America conducted in the middle of September revealed that members food bank experienced an average of 56% increase in demand. 
This food shortage will have an effect on the world. It may come in the form of inflation or certain food just not being available. So what is the plan of action believers should take to prepare? Have an emergency food supply. Be prepared to help others. A food supply can be used to help your friends, neighbor, family member, or anyone else in need. Psalms 112, a good man show a favor and lend it. He will guide his affairs with discretion. We are becoming a cashless society. What is a cashless society? A cashless society describes an economic state whereby financial transactions are not conducted with money in the form of physical banknotes or coins, but rather through the transfer of uh, digital information, usually an electronic representation of money between the trans acting parties. In recent time, many businesses have gone cashless in order to simplify the COVID-19 era operation and reduce risk to employees. Even though the risk of transmitting the virus through cash is believed to be low, many experts believe that COVID-19 has accelerated a shift to a cashless society. Lately, it seems it's costing me more to purchase gas if I use credit. Where I stay upwards of 10 cents on a gallon more, I have to pay by using credit. Car washes and major food chains in my neighborhood are now cashless. The government of Dubai has formed a new working group to work on an action to transform from the Emirates into a cashless society. If a society becomes cashless, the money will lose purchasing power immediately. When our money is electronic, negative interest rate could have a more direct effect on consumers. Countries like Denmark, Japan, and Switzerland have already experimented with negative interest rates. I can see some disadvantage like electronic payments aren't as private as cash payments. Hackers are the bank robbers and muggers of the electronic world. Glitches, outages, and innocent mistakes can also cause problems, leaving you without the ability to buy things when you need to. Some of us may have experienced this already. Is it a form of control? You be the judge. I will leave you with this scripture. Revelation 13. And he calls all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. Are we moving towards these times? Are we in these times? If you are in New York right now and on government assistance, if you do not take the vaccine when it becomes available, you will no longer be eligible for food and housing programs. People, please don't forget about Tuskegee experiment. Why experiment at all when you have a God that is able to do a seemingly above all that we could ask or think? Psychon Gaddy threatened Somalia with two years of rain in two days, and that was this month. People of the world today, keep your trust in God. And remember, we have already won the victory. In Jesus' name, this is Dale S. Jr. I am Reunion Speech 2 on Thanksgiving Day.